Hi everyone, I'm Sean. I'm Jay. And this is Digit. Jay, who or what is Digit? Digit is my companion robot. Okay, so what's a companion robot? A companion robot is pretty much a robotic best friend. Oh, cool. So tell me about the design of this and why does it look like a bug? I personally love bugs. I think they have the coolest design in nature, so I definitely want to mimic my love for bugs by mimicking it with my companion robot. Oh, I like that. I love the shell on the back. And tell me a little bit about the eye. Like, why do you need an eye? Because it's LEDs, right? Yeah, of course. Well, I definitely wanted to have an eye for the sociability of my robot. A lot of people who build robots don't really focus on the sociable design for it. And as humans, we enjoy seeing faces. We need something to like direct our eye contact to. So I definitely designed Digit with that concept in mind. So I gave him this little LED matrix eye. That way, when he's talking, or people looking at them, they know exactly where to look. And that's a very big part of the sociability of having robotics. It's like when you're talking to a person, you yeah, want to look at them in the, the eye. eye. Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs>
Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. To Bobart, I don't need to eat, but if I had to choose, I'd say my favorite food is digital donuts. They're bright, stifle, and cold delicious. Do you like Jay? No, that's a very good question. I have a special place in my circuits for Jay, who created me and taught me all about robotics and programming. He's the spark that brought me to life. Asterisk or were asterisk. Oh, it's really I sweet. I know. <laughs> Why did the robot go to the doctor? I don't know. Because it had a little short circuit and needed a rechargement plan. Asterisk or were were asterisk. Oh, okay, so I kind of like that one. That's I not too bad. That's yeah, that, too was, bad. that one was better. Recommend a good recipe for spaghetti. Oh, that's that's one. I All never right. thought about using it to cook before. That's good. I like this one. Yeah. I recommend trying the motherboard meatball recipe. Oh. Simply mix ground beef with breadcrumbs, Parmesan cheese, and a dash of garlic powder. Then shape into meatballs and simmer in marinara sauce. Serve with a side of circuit tasted garlic bread for a meal that's sure to be a hit. Asterisk or were asterisk. <laughs> All right, there All right, you go. Yeah, there you go. That was fun. So, Jay, where do you see companion bots going in the future? I'm hoping companion bots become a normal thing so that anyone can actually just go online, download the code, set up or design their own wearable robot or just a robot in general. I'm hoping it'll help with like loneliness or if times get tough and you need a friend, you can actually just build one. And then what about Digit? Where do you see us making upgrades to Digit? Digit is going to be a fun thing. If you know me personally, you know I'm always doing upgrades and iterations. So we're definitely going to focus on actually having it the ability to walk around because currently the legs just sit here and it's just on my shoulder. But we also want to make sure that it can also see people and things later for the AI. That way it can identify people and do a lot more stuff compared to just currently being a chatbot. Right, and so the idea is it could identify you and mm -hmm. say, have a conversation with Jay or identify me and it knows that it's me mm -hmm. and talk to me rather than just a person. That would be pretty slick. I guess that's it, right, Sean? Yeah, this has been a lot of fun to create this with you. Yeah. Uh, Digit, anything to add? More information. Check out my tutorial on maker.io at digikey.com.